Hi everyone, have a quick uh, little review today of basically three products, but really two. I'll explain in a moment. Um, you remember when I was doing my dash, I broke my scan gauge. For those of you who don't know what it is, scan gauge is plugged into your OBD2 port. Mine was older. And you can read four gauges at a time that your car reads, like Vol, TPS, you know, stuff like that, um, map sensor, all that stuff. Um, and it's a trip computer, so it does fuel economy, all that stuff, and it can read codes. Um, but it broke. So when it broke, the first thing I did, um, went and got this little Wi-Fi um, OBD2 adapter and used the recommended app for it. Um, and then I decided I wanted a scan gauge again, but the turbo gauge is actually cheaper. It doesn't have all the features of the new one, but like the scan gauge I had, which I actually fixed. And, uh, I mean, it's electrical tape, but it's fixed. But the new scan gauge does like some performance stuff too, like zero to 60 and that. This doesn't, but it's a scan tool, digital gauge, trip computer, you know, and it saves, you know, so many hours of travel. Um, the little V-Peak is a little Wi-Fi one, and um, basically it kind of depends on your app. If you get a cheap app, it's not going to do a lot. If you pay for an app, you'll get some more. So um, basically, both of these little things plug in the same way your car. If it's 96 or newer, it should have an OBD2 adapter, and you just plug it in there and go from there. So. Um, I'm going to show you the turbo gauge first, since I have that kind of mounted in the caliber, and uh, kind of show you some of the features. OBD2 port's right there, kind of hard to see. But in the uh, caliber, it actually fits right in this cubby in the um, right below the stereo. If you have the nav, I think that hole's not there, so... But for me, it worked out. It's kind of temporarily here. I kind of just wrapped it around. This is just jammed in there. It's wrapped around, tucked behind the dash, and then right here where the little rubber is for the steering wheel, I dropped it down behind the kick panel, and it's all under here. So the turbo gauge looks very similar to the scan gauge. It has a lot of the same features and works similar. Um, what is nice is that you can leave it plugged in And uh, she says, welcome. I have it set up. I got intake air temperature, engine coolant temperature, volt, and mile per gallon. Uh, my caliber does not have the little info window. Uh, some did, some don't. I don't really know what the options were for that. And uh, let's see. So you can go in here, you can scan. Um, you can see all this stuff. Diagnostic, stored, permanent, pending. Let's see if there's any pending. No codes. We got some permanent ones. FRZ. I don't remember that one. Oh, freeze frame. You can freeze frame data to see, you know, if something's happening. It'll it'll see if a code pops up. And then uh, the readiness monitors for your missions. Fuel cat. So all that's there. And then you can go to trip. Um, Let's do current, average 0.8 gallons per hour. Sorry, my reflection's kind of like screwing this up. Mile per gallon, we're not moving. It's just been started, no miles. You can set that all up. Uh, what can I do? Oh, we can do total. 102, 4.8 gallons. So you can play around with all that. I don't have the cost set up, but you can see it can keep track of like how much money you're spending. If you ever fill up, you, you mess with that. And then, um, like I said, you can go to gauges. And this will really depend on your car. It'll have different gauges set up. Let's see if the air can come on a little bit here. Um, we'll change the mile per gallon here. You got closed loop for your O2 sensor. My car doesn't have a second you know, side, if you had a V8, like a Chevy or something, probably have two up and down streams. Engine load, I'd have to look through uh, 
some more stuff here. You can get some voltages. Left. There's your map, RPM, vehicle speed, ignition, advance there. See, it retards and adjusts uh, throttle position. And then you got some more stuff that's abbreviated. Um, I remember looking up in the book, I, I just can't remember off the top of my head what all that was, but I have this set up for a road trip, so that's why you have mile per gallon, uh, engine coolant, volt, all that stuff. Um, and it's nice just to be able to scan a code on the fly while you're driving. Um, and what's nice about the turbo gauge and the scan gauge, so when you shut your car off, there is a little timer built into it, so after a little bit, it will just uh, kick off. Um, as you can see, it's still reading some voltage because it's still plugged in. But eventually, there it goes. shuts down. Now, the turbo gauge only is backlit white. The scan gauge, you can choose colors and all that stuff. And there's actually performance modes in the newest scan gauge. But a little bit out of my price range for that. So, now we'll move on to the VPeak Wi-Fi adapter. All right, so have the Wi-Fi port in. As you can see, the uh, other one's just hanging there. Um, you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings, and you have to pick it. And then once you're connected, you will have to go to an app. I'm using OBD2 Fusion. And uh, then you have to connect. It's going to connect and do all this fun stuff. And then you can go to, like, you have diagnostics again. You have dashboards. And uh, you can play with all of these and customize them a lot more than you can with this or a scan gauge. And um, there's a whole bunch of things you can play with. There's any sensor, you can do logs, you can do performance. Yeah, you don't use it on a public road. So you can do zero to 60, quarter mile, all that stuff. Um, but the one thing I did notice is this is kind of clunky sometimes. I don't know about the Bluetooth, but the Wi-Fi will like lag sometimes. And um, the data will just kind of stop. Everything will just freeze for a few minutes and then reload. I don't know if it's getting interference from stuff or whatnot. Um, and the other thing, which is a big downside to the Wi-Fi adapters. So right now it's connected to the Wi-Fi adapter. I'm gonna turn off the car car is off. Um, the Wi-Fi adapter runs constantly until it is unplugged. So the Wi-Fi adapter will kind of drain your battery and that is a big downside to that. And um, like yeah the car is, is completely off. Um, nothing's on. I mean the lights are on but like it, it's still still reading a Wi-Fi signal up there until I unplug it, it's in my hand, uh, as you can see it's going through all this network stuff, it's going to lag a little bit, and uh, eventually, yep, it disappeared. So it lost that and I'm back on my house. Alright, so that's basically it. I prefer the turbo gauge, it's cheaper than a new scan gauge. The only difference is you don't get like the performance stuff like zero to 60. And um, I think the scan gauge, you can actually like enter codes to bring up more gauges. But for what I need it for, for, you know, like this car and that, um, you know, 60, I think it was like 65, 70 bucks for that. That was a good deal. And uh, the VPeak did have really good customer support. They actually sent me a second one when I was having issues connecting. Um, and it turns out it was just interference from like my home Wi-Fi. So I have a brand new one of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I have two of them now. And um, they're just kind of clunky. They're nice to have in the glove box if you like want to show someone your zero to 60 times or pull up a code or just have gauges or something ready for if you're screwing around with your car, you made a change and you want to see if there's anything different. But I think that whole setup with the gauge, the V Peak was like 40 bucks. I think that was like 65 bucks for the turbo gauge and the scan gauges are like 150. So I think the turbo gauge is the best deal. Um, hope this video was informative enough for anyone. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, just uh, leave it below 
in the uh, comments and I'll try to respond. So, hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. Until next time.